Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is actually going to be quite an interesting and actually kind of hopeful one for a change because I did start to check out the basic heroes uh, crystal pool for six star champions and I started doing some counts and math and I was actually fairly excited and happy with the things that I found out. And the base idea is we're going to go through the numbers in a bit but currently in the six star hero crystal, basic six star hero crystal, we have about 109 or something like that. Uh, champions and uh, in total in the game currently we have 169 champions available all uh, overall so on 25th of February we do get uh, 12 more champions added so that's gonna put the total up to like 120 ish champions in basic hero 6 uh, crystal pool and obviously then we're gonna have six more new champions added plus another six of these current feature champions that are coming out. So uh, adding another 12 would put it about at 132 champions or so will be available in the hero crystal pool in between basic heroes and in between the featured hero crystal pool. And uh, then I uh, basically straight away jump to Aunt May. And if you can type in, uh, if you put in a filter, and in this case we're gonna put in a filter of a uh, six star. And we're going to see that it says that it's displaying 137 out of 169 champions. That basically means that 137 of <laughs> champions are currently available as six stars in one way, shape, form or another. And only 32 champions are not. Keep in mind, out of these 32 champions, six are going to be added. So that means we're going to only have about 24, 26 champions in total. Uh, after the new six star feature hero crystal is going to come out that are not available as a six star currently and uh, then we can go and take a look at which are those champions that we are currently missing and obviously there are quite few that are out of top of your lungs are going to start immediately yelling the more noticeable ones like um, Archangel, like Blade and I guess we have Black Widow, we have Dr. Voodoo uh, we also have Ghost Rider we have Hyperion, uh, we have Magic, Medusa, uh, Rogue, She-Hulk, Stark Enhanced Spider-Man, OG Thor, and obviously then we have a bunch of champions that still seem to be stuck at the 4 star level. So base idea is all of these champions should be added as 6 stars in game within next kind of like 3 cycles or so. and. Uh, that kind of like should put a smile on your face. Now, uh, that is obviously granted that Kabam is not gonna pull out a Cascam out of their uh, hat and give some sort of reason why these champions are not going to get added and give them, I don't know, War Machine Jaw Fix It and Vision Age of Ultron treatment. Hopefully we do not uh, get stuck in that case and we actually end up getting all of these champions as six stars, the ones that are released as five stars already anyways. And that actually gives you quite a bit to look forward to. First and foremost, this new feature, Six Star Hero Crystal, uh, as well as every single one that's gonna get added further throughout the year, because uh, that should bring in uh, quite many of these absolutely fabulous and fantastic champions that we are missing as Six Stars. For instance, who wouldn't like a Six Star Blade, Archangel, Stark Enhanced Spider-Man, uh, Dr. Voodoo, Ghost Rider, Hyperion, Iceman to be added. Now there are some champions obviously that are still a bit of a duds uh, that will get added. Unfortunately you can't escape them like I believe Netflix Daredevil, uh, Symbiote Spider-Man and uh, a bunch more. And then there are a couple of champions obviously that are fairly exclusive or some of these exceptions that got stuck as a four star. So uh, that definitely kind of gets you thinking. For me personally, obviously I'm most excited for Quake. And here is a question for you, leave in comments section, which champion are you the most hopeful for to see added in the six star hero crystal pool with the next uh, featured six star hero crystal that is gonna actually drop in one week's time from now. So in one week, there are gonna be six new champions from these and so there is a good chance that there are going to be some really great champions uh, getting added, right? And so, yeah, let me know which six-star champion you are most hopeful for to see be added to the hero crystal pool available as a six-star that's currently not available as a six-star. And uh, just as importantly, here we're going to have a second question. Which six-stars, if any, do you think we will not see 
and which six which champions you believe will get the scarlet witch or og wolverine treatment in the game additionally that also kind of like leaves quite a bit to discuss when it comes to war machine uh wolverine uh vision age of ultron scarlet witch miss marvel for whatever reason i believe joe fix it and a couple of other champions that seem to be stuck and that forced are level currently in a game because it is quite funny because the game is moving on without them and uh, many people kind of like completely forget about a lot of these champions and there is a large group of people currently playing this game very seriously who actually never had chance to enjoy the Wolverine or Scarlet Witch or whoever kind of like at the peak power level uh, tearing through content and uh, that would definitely kind of like be a change and obviously now that we're shifting to six stars there's going to be again the same risk involved for some champions to be left forgotten uh, just because they're not released at a high power level and uh, that is also in my opinion at least like fairly interesting thought because if you think about it that uh, technically could be a way to nerf a champion without nerfing a champion for instance if uh, I don't know, Hyperion is the problem child and Kabam is afraid of Hyperion, then if they do not release a 6 star Hyperion and just leave him at max power level 5 star, at a time when we will be able to max out the 6 stars, Hyperion is going to be an irrelevant champion because there simply will not be strong enough Hyperion available. Kind of like how currently, let's say, Scarlet Witch is absolutely irrelevant when it comes to endgame content because max level... Uh, or rarity you can acquire off Scarlet which is a four star and you can't even bring that in to act six so that is also kind of like a bit of a cheeky thought how people can in fact from Kabam nerf the champions without effectively touching them with them by simply not releasing them so hopefully that's not going to be the case so hopefully obviously all of our champions as six stars will be released in a timely manner throughout this year and that's just quite it because if you have 20 odd champions from the old ones that are remaining, so basically next three, or maybe next, I, th I think within the next three maximum four sets of featured six star hero crystal, we should have completely caught up. And uh, that means by end of the year, something's gonna have to change. As in like the way these crystals are formed, the way these champions are grabbed. Because you're simply going to run out of the new old new slash old 6 stars to keep adding in these crystals. Because currently when a 6 star feature crystal is formed, it's always 6 brand new champions that got released. 6 champions that previously were not available as 6 stars, being kind of like introduced to the 6 star pool. And 12 random champions. So that is obviously not going to work forever because we're running out of champions and we only have 3, maybe 4 uh, sets left of these six uh, six packs I don't know call them as you want to be added in so there will definitely be some sort of change to the featured six star crystals relatively soon within this year and uh, that is again something that's worth uh, asking you guys how do you think what will happen and how Kabam is going to start making these six star crystals with what kind of idea behind because currently we do know exactly what they're doing and how they're doing we do not know why they're select which champions though but uh either way uh they will have to change the way how they put together six star crystals and obviously they can simply just completely forget the part where they add new champions in and just add in 18 random champions like they do with featured five stars currently or they can try and come up with something new for featured five stars and six stars altogether so yeah, basically, let me know how do you think, how is this all going to work, and uh, once again, let me know which champions you're most excited uh, to hopefully see added in game as 6 stars, and let me know which champions you think possibly might be eluding the 6 star status and 6 star release permanently, just like Scarlet Witch and Wolverine was, because it is possible, and <laughs> it will definitely be interesting to see the reaction of people once some sort of official announcements are made, because th that is going to happen relatively soon, and I am personally eagerly going to follow the situation, and I'm looking forward to see the next uh, featured 6-star hero crystal that's going to come in the game in one week's time from now, so possibly we're going to see Blade there, possibly we're going to see Stark Enhanced Spider-Man, Ghost Rider, Iceman, 
Hyperion, there are so many great champions, Archangel, Dr. Voodoo, so many cool champions that could come in seven days available as six stars. Uh, but that will pretty much do for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do hit that like button, do hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, leave a comment and let me know what you think, which champions are coming. See ya.